everybody, Greg Medford, Medford Knife and MKT USA down here in Phoenix, Arizona making knives. We're going to talk today about rough grinding. This is the handmade part of what we do in every single knife we make and it's what cuts us from the herd. It separates us from almost everybody. So come along for the ride and let me show you how it works. Well, here we go. Um, this is where it all started. This is where I started knife making. It was standing in front of a Burking grinder, chopping steel away from a hunk of metal uh, to try and form something that looked like a knife. I've got my first and second knife sitting on a shelf around here someplace here we use for some templates and models on things. Why don't you guys come on into the grinder room with me and let's talk a little bit about the process. Come on. We do this primarily free of jigs and fixtures. There's a couple different kinds of grinding you can do. You can do hollow grinding on a machine like this where the knife will be up against the wheel and the convex curvature will give a concave hollow on the side of the blade. If you look on my pocket knife here that I'm carrying, you'll see the main bevel. I like on main bevels, I like hollows personally. So the hollow is done here. This area here is called the plunge line and uh, we work really hard to balance the plunge line on a knife between the left and right side for symmetry. We call this panel bevel or uh, uh, you know, we talk about the panel height of the main bevel, and then this would be the edge bevel down here done by hand. This is a flat grind, this is done on a platen in German, which means flat, so you can see we've set up a, a, a flat surface behind, so that instead of a wheel, we've got something flat. Now, what you get from these two types of grinds is, uh, a, if, if you grind both sides of a knife with a flat grind, you get kind of a this shape. If you grind both sides with a hollow, you get this shape, the hollows here and here as we zoom in on these, right? Now this is not the micro bevel out at the end, we'd have to zoom way in. I'm talking about the two big panels that make a flat stock of material into a knife. Not that little micro bevel out at the end that we actually do the razor sharp cutting with. These two panels, uh, we can do them in a hollow, in, in a flat, or in a convex uh, type of grind. Now the convex is not great for pocket knives necessarily. It's good for swords, it's good for axes, big heavy uh, shock uh, type imp uh, uh, tools. Um, the hollow grind is not as great, it's not ideal necessarily for all sorts of heavy, heavy use because as you can see this edge out here is pretty fine and pretty narrow. And, and, and the, 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 uh, the, the, the traditional flat grind or uh, taper grind um, that you see on a lot of knives is, is kind of a nice balance between the two worlds. And I like, to, I like to use hollow and flat grinding. I like to look at the geometry of a knife and we put our flats where there's the most, pro most propensity for improvisational or lateral stresses or uh, you know, improvisational use that would cause fractures on a blade out at the tip for instance. So again, if you look at my pocket knife, you'll see on this modified drop point Tonto, the Tonto out here is flat ground. A lot of guys improvisationally pry and do stuff with the ends of their pocket knives. It's not what it's for, but it's what a lot of people use the tool for. So we put the flat out here and cross-sectionally it gives you about 15 to 20 percent more metal in, the, in this triangle and it's a stronger tip. Now the problem with this type of construction is that when you polish it the very first time you have this little micro edge and each time you polish it it's getting wider and wider as you remove this material as you move down the triangle and as it gets wider and wider the bevel gets fatter and fatter and your angle gets heavier and heavier uh, and, and so it's harder and harder over the years to have that clean keen edge whereas two hollows meet and give you almost parallel metal at 22 thou out here so when you go to sharpen them there's very little metal to remove to get that micro bevel that we do in western knife making so if you get years and years and years of use out of, a, out of that and out of a triangle as a few years go by, it, it starts to become a little untenable. So that's kind of the pros and cons of flat and hollow bevel. And we do all that here in the rough grinding process. Um, we'll see that again and we'll talk about that again in the finished grinding process. But all of that gets done here and it's all done by hand. It's done by eye and it's done to an amazing degree of accuracy before it heads out to heat treat. That's rough grinding.
All right, kids, that's rough grinding. I'm telling you, it's man's work. Um, it's standing there, it's tough, it's dirty, it's hot, it's back breaking, it's long hours on the feet, but it's what gets you this handmade, beautiful, symmetrical, artistic plunge line and symmetry that everyone expects from us. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to visit MedfordUniversity.com, become one of our centurions, and find out about all the behind the scenes events that go on here. Mm -hmm.